Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Joanne. The Lord spoke with me. I want your listeners to know, world over, God spoke with me today about the coming of the Messiah again. In today's conversation, the Lord took me and he made me simulate the event that uh, will take place on that day. So he made me the church that is going to be taken on that day. And then, uh, so as he was taking the church, I could see that some people, some people have some, some churches have impediments that would not allow them to go. I could see that at the time when he had come to take the church. And then others made it. But then for others, the impediment was removed out of the way as they prepared. But uh, the, the, the blockade, the, the obstacles, in other words. And so the Lord Jehovah, in speaking with me today about the coming of the Messiah, he made me the church that he is taking. And then as he was taking, lifting the church like this, then uh, there were some people that had obstacles. Some churches have obstacles. So they, those obstacles were blocking them. They could not go. But some of them, the obstacles were removed. And so the obstacles removed. And then the Lord, he lifted me up above the earth and right into the sky, into the clouds. And I saw the tremendous glory of the Lord. And then a cloud covered me into heaven. And so I have seen the events that will take place at the coming of the Lord, at the return of the Christ, when he comes to take the church. Today again, he has spoken with me about the coming of the Messiah. And this is a very powerful, resounding warning across the nations of the earth that uh, it's really time out now for everything else, but it's time in now to make sure that people prepare up. They prepare with serious aptitude. They prepare with diligence. They prepare with carefulness, with great heedfulness to remove the great heedlessness of this hour, with great righteousness to remove the wickedness and the unrighteousness of this hour, with, with great godliness, to, to remove the, the great ungodliness, to counter it. So he may remove those obstacles of this hour. Those obstacles, again, like I've just mentioned, are uh, the heedlessness, uh, the unrighteousness, the unholiness, the wickedness, the evil and the sin of this hour. So even as we begin this fast tonight, this uh, tremendous fast as I prepare to leave now for Ghana, the big meeting in Accra. What a mighty way to leave, but has now spoken again about the glorious coming of the Messiah. And I think there's no better message at this hour to the nation, there's no better message at this hour to the church than the message that says, let us prepare in righteousness, let us reform our ways and make straight Nuestra Caminos, our ways that uh, we may be in perfect lining, alignment with the requirements for that day when the church is taken. And so there's no greater way to leave Kenya now as I leave for Ghana than to leave with this resounding announcement that look, Again, the Lord has spoken about the coming of the Messiah. And we all know too well now how to prepare to have repentant hearts, to turn away from sin, and to make sure that we walk in the highway of holiness, to shun all wickedness and evil, to make sure we walk in wisdom, which is the fear of God. And in that way, when the Lord comes, you'll find a prepared church. You'll be that church that was taken up today. I went up with them. He took me and I went up with them. And we entered heaven today. May the Lord bless the nations that are tuned in. 
it is my cry at this time because I realize time is running out. Because if you look very carefully at uh, the way the visitation of the Lord unfolded in Kisumu, you need not be a genius to understand that this is surely this is the end. This is surely the latter moment. This anointing is speaking about time is over, the days have gone, and uh, the Messiah is coming. So when you look at that visitation of Kisumu, then I am left with nothing other than to cry for the nation, all the nations tuned in, the United States of America. I know we have letters of invitation from there, letters of invitation from South uh, Korea, nations of South America, Central America, Australia, Europe, and Africa, we are living for Ghana, there's Nigeria, many nations. South Africa has just written an invitation letter. So it, uh, my heart now yearns for the nations to reach them that they too may be at this awakening, this level when their souls are awakened. And the Bible is very clear on the requirements of that day, the requirements for the hour. And this is the revival of repentance and the turning away from wickedness. May those who have ears listen to the words of the voice of the Lord. Shalom, shalom, and todarabah.